Good morning. It's a beautiful, rather chilly end of October morning. We're out at uh, Park Isle Marine, just working on getting a few things done on the boat. Um, the last few things on the to-do list before we can get her in the water. And of course I'm out hanging out at one of my favorite spots here. And uh, I never tire of the views out here. Simply beautiful this morning. Anyway, come along with us today as we work on getting the boat ready for launching. I'm going in to organize. Everything's been pulled out of cabinets and drawers and, and everything else. I'll do some cleaning because it's very dusty in there. And Nick is working with um, one of the guys on the uh, propeller shaft and getting that put back together. And so let's see what it looks like. Wow, I got my work cut out for me today. Let's take a look around. So every see, it seems that every time we uh, get one project done, I do a quick clean up, and then another project opens up, and and this happens again. And it's uh, just the way it is because of the limited space we have on the boat. Um, this floor is open again today because this is oh, you can see the new sh uh, drive shaft down there, nice shiny. Stainless steel. This has been uh, one of the biggest issues we've had that uh, when we brought the boat in for repairs, we did not know about. So we're very glad to see it uh, coming along. We've had to have some parts custom made and order some other parts from from afar. Almost <laughs> makes me want to cry looking at this at this mess. But it's no one's fault. It's just the way it is when you're working on a boat. I can barely pass through here. We have had non-stop water leakages through the uh, ceiling um, from the flybridge because the, uh, the way the boat is canted forward, it allows water to come in the vents. Therefore, we've got these bins all pulled apart over here, water buckets collecting water. But we've got a break in the rain. We haven't had rain in a few days. Um, the boats had a chance to dry out, and now we'll try and put some stuff back together. 
So we're eating our lunch. Just taking a break. We're making progress. We're getting there. I feel like I did nothing today. All I did was move stuff around. I'm trying to sort out electrical stuff and plumbing stuff. Screws and bits of hardware and stuff and try and sorting it. That's part of the cleanup. Well, I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere. Well, I have. With uh, what did you do? With uh, <coughs> our uh, mechanical guy Colin, uh, working on getting the prop shaft properly aligned, and it took some real fiddly work. I won't bore you with the technical details, but basically, the shaft has to be aligned exactly right. So you don't get vibration. And that's taken a good part of the morning to get that done. But it's making progress. So I'm hoping we'll have that uh, that bolted up and, and ready to go uh, by the end of the day. So that we can then put the rudder post back in and the propeller on it. And uh, we have the, oh no, we have the Y bracket to, to work on next. So one step at a time, we're working our way towards the back. The so why don't end. I turn the camera on? We can look down the hole and you can yeah. explain okay. what's going sure. on down. Now, this, that's where the rudder post comes up from below. You can see the pavement down there. That's uh, right. You can see right through it, right out to the ground. So the rudder post will come up here. There'll be a, um, a top part on it that connects to the ram which is right, you can't see it, it's out of the picture, but connects to this piece. It's not in the right position right now, but when it's uh, ready to go, we'll put that on. Yeah, but why do we have to have that piece rebuilt? Because so it was all... they cleaned up the, that housing right there, that... Yeah, this, this piece is rotten. Wood, right? Yeah, this piece at the bottom was rotten. So they had to do a whole bunch of foundational work in order to put this back in. So now it's solid as a rock. And it's all, it's like brand new. Yeah. So this will outlast us. Yeah, they cleaned that up really nice. They did. But it was cheaper for them to, to do that clean it up than to replace that part. Right. So. so that'll come up, put the linkage on, connect to here, and then we'll be able to steer the boat. So that brings us to the next problem. Let's talk about that. One of the challenges, the other challenge that we're facing is with this we're in that transitional period of the year where you don't know how long you're going to have sun. Rain's always a threat. And it's been sitting outside. Now, boats are supposed to get wet. That Everybody knows that. But when you're working on them and you have them opened up, you don't want things inside of them getting wet. And the way the boat sits now, it's actually cast down a little bit forward, towards the forward. So the water up here that hits up here runs forward, not backwards. It's meant to sit like this, so the water runs off. But it's been pooling up there, and we have to get it to, to dry out. On top of that... Uh, we've had a lot of water come in, like gallons of, of rainwater come in. Oh yeah, but it doesn't take like, long. It would pour all night. There's a nice little bee checking out my He's granola bar. Ah, leave my granola bar alone. Um, it would pour rain all night. And we'd come down in the morning and pump out well, several gallons of water. We have an electric pump up there right now, and we plug it in, and it would run for 10 or 15 minutes pumping, pumping the water, water off the top. And but not only did it pool up front, but it actually came into up in some, into some vents, and it was coming down through the uh, ceiling into the right into the salon and into the into so the kitchen. And it identified some problems, and that's good, so we can deal with them. But it did some damage too, which is bad. So well, it's a so beside me here, there is a large oh, canvas coverall yeah. called the tent, and uh, we're talking with the owner of the or the with Roy about uh, picking this boat up and putting it in the tent to allow the boat to dry out and the work to be finished. Uh, what the last few jobs that need to be finished can be done regardless of the weather. Because we are expecting more rain. Right. Like this is Starting a nice break. We next had a beautiful couple of days. several day break, but it's coming. Yeah. And then we'll have, you know, several more gallons of water running through. And uh, we just want to get this boat back in the water so badly. 
I'm willing right. to push it, but nobody else seems to want to help, so. <laughs> push it. <laughs> Roll it. Roll it, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it'll take a lot of pushing, I will admit, and I don't know that it would survive, so um, maybe that's not a good idea. Yeah, so. We keep thinking it's going to be time to go every in. Time, every time I come out here, I think. Oh. How many weeks have you been saying next week, next week, next week? Every I, I time we do one of these, we say it'll be next, next week. week. But we've been saying next week for the last literally six I weeks. I say it because sooner or we'll, later we're going to be right. Well, I want to be right right now. So do I. It's I want so to be right two months ago. Like, we just we just want this boat back in the water. We want to be back on board. We um, we have some big plans for this fall that we're not going to share with you just yet. But welcome. It's a Exciting. Starting new at, 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 at another, another chapter, chapter of our adventure, and it may involve another part of BC. So we need to get on with that. We want to get in the water and get that going. We still have uh, probably about a day's worth of sea trials to do. Yeah. To make sure everything before we leave and go back to the marina, that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So once we put we're it in the water, thinking we're going to get more. Um, a hot, more speed out of the boat because well, the of whole the drive resistance, shaft. the whole drive shaft, the amount of resistance there was in that. Either that or the engine's just strong enough that well, it's plowed through it. Well, no, you're going to lose because the engine has to spend some of its energy overcoming the internal friction of the drive line. Yeah. And when you get that back, that translates into either better fuel economy or better speed. Luck, hopefully both. Now we're not going to get an extra ten knots, right? Right now, the best I've ever gotten out of it is ten, a little over ten, ten point two. So if we were to be able to get eleven, twelve. That's a big difference. So guess what we need to do? Get back to work. That's what we need to do. It is so incredibly beautiful and sunny out. Oh, Chris, we could I started be out there this right video now. out at the Strait. There, it's just incredible. The Many of the peaks across the way in the Olympic Mountains are snow covered already. It's just incredibly beautiful. We just want to get out there. So you know, they've really never held the Olympic, the Olympic Games out there. It's because it's mountains. Why do they call them Olympic Mountains if there's no Olympic Games? Just asking. Anyway, let's carry on. All right. Well, I've been working here all day. Um, doesn't feel like I got much done. Um, in all fairness, though, I've been working around the electrician who was here today um, doing some final install on the transducer, transducer for the radar. And the guys were working on that, um, on that drive shaft. So most of the day there was more than just uh, me in here cleaning. And there was like three other workers. So anyway, let's take a look around. Certainly not done, but started. I still have a whole bunch of things here to sort out on this table. Um, got most of the counter claimed back here. And, uh, there was some moisture that came through the ceiling as well. You can see up here um, remnants of our literally gallons of water leaking in. Um, so, of course, it leaked onto the counters and stained them, and I had to clean that up. Um, real mess. Anyway, sorted through a bunch of odds and ends, tools and parts and bits and bobs, sorted and put away. Um, back here, of course, until this uh, shaft is put back together in its entirety, it's down there. Uh, they got it connected. And you see by the silver part, the front, it's connected, went together well. Um, but until then, um, there's no point in storing all these parts and, and tools because they may be required. And then a little black basket you threw in. Oh, garbage. And that's not garbage, right? No. That is our Are you filming us? No, I'm filming you. <laughs> so you just you're lucky I, I didn't swear you'd have to edit it out. I wouldn't edit it out. <laughs> All the more reason for me not to. Get off the ladder and come oh. down.
you don't feel up to going through that path. So we're going to end the day where I began my day hanging out by the Juan de Fuca Strait. It's absolutely spectacular. Oh my gosh, look at the snow capped peaks over there. Yeah, they get a little Let's see if I can uh, zoom in on them. Don't know how clear that's going to be, but they're definitely have snow on them. Quite beautiful. Very beautiful spot. Finn. I think she likes coming down here too. <laughs> she doesn't want to get wet. She's like, Dad, that's too deep. Hey. So bright out here, I can't even see us in the camera. So maybe, maybe we're there, maybe we're not. Maybe Ooh. you're looking at rocks, maybe you're looking at the ground. No, I think I can see us right <laughs> there. Hey, okay. So, uh, if you look okay. over your shoulder. Finley. But she did, I can't even see. So, Finley Nick, tell there. me what you got done today. Well, we got a lot done today. We uh, finally got the prop shaft in. Uh, it was proving to be challenging for fitting reasons that I won't, technical reasons I won't bore you with, but we conquered them. It's in now, so now when you look at the boat, you can see this bright, shiny seal shaft sticking out of the back end of it. And tomorrow we're going to mount the bracket that holds the external part of the shaft and uh, get ready to put the propeller and the rudder post and put the rudder back in. And Wednesday, more rain. Yeah, so we're going to take the boat and we're going to have it moved inside the tent. Uh, just so that we can get all the, the railings and the windlass and the uh, cleats and all that up on the front done. Because if it's raining out and you got to drill, first of all, nobody wants to work in the rain. Yeah. And if you have to drill into the boat. We just can't keep putting this off either because we got to get it, it done. It seems we have three or four days of rain and then two or three days of sun or two days of sun, one day of sun. And it's a never ending cycle. So, um, so and we have to get the boat back in the water next week. Yeah, it's, it's just it's, like, gotta be done. We've been saying all along, it's going to be next week. It's going to be next week. But this time when I tell you, it won't be this week, but it should be Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. Because all of the, the final finish work as far as putting all the... Because now what we're really doing is just bolting everything back on. Yeah. It's been repaired. All the repairs are done. It's just a matter now of, putting, like I said, put the railings back up on the forecastle, put the windlass back in. That was just overhauled and rebuilt today. Um, forecastle? The windlass. Oh, the windlass. Oh, is that what uh, Roy That's was what doing? That's what Roy was doing, yes. There's a so bearing in there that there's needs to be replaced. There's new bearings, and he had to drill out a, a... One of the things you find out when you buy a boat that's 50 years old is that people who owned it before you didn't have the same level of concern for <laughs> doing it right that you do. Yeah. And they took a standard size thread and jammed it into a metric hole. Or it was the other way around, a metric thread into a standard hole. And they cross-threaded it, and it, idea. you couldn't get it out. Well, this little piece helps keep the chain in, in the cogs of the windlass 
so that it doesn't fly off and jam up. And it's kind of an important piece, and it's spring-loaded. So he had to drill, he's going to drill that out, re-tap it, put a new bolt in, that'll all be done tomorrow. So, well, we're making it, we're thanks, getting there. Thanks for sticking around and, you know, putting up with us. Putting up with another update. Uh, it's really hard to film when everybody's working. It was just impossible. Um, so I don't feel like well, I captured Well, you were busy right. today, too. I know, I know. So it's really, it takes twice as long to do anything when you're filming, or, or three times even. So we don't get a lot of filming done when we're busy working. But. What we'll do, when we're done, when we're all done, I can walk you through the boat and uh, show we'll you do. what was repaired. What we've done. So. Yeah. All right. With that said, we'll see you later when you're older. May you have a fair wind and a following sea. Like and subscribe, please. Please. Bye. Thank you.